Hello, we have a new device on my bench. This time we have a Asus ZenBook for 14. 14? Yes. UX434F. Um, recent device, Intel Core i7, 10th generation. However, this one came in with no power. When I plug the charger and press the power button, just nothing happens. Let's check the charger. Minus. And it has 19 volts. So charger should be okay. Well, let's have a look what tip we need. This one? I think it's this one. Let's check with benchtop power supply. 19 volt. Almost no consumption, nothing with power button press. So I have to guess maybe a failed MOSFET, something in DC in circuit. No idea, no short detected, maybe just the power button isn't working anymore. Something like that. Let's open it. So, power, let's check some voltages, so at battery, almost flat. So we have one MOSFET. This is phase. Nothing. Nothing. It's also phase. Yeah, this is hmm. <laughs> What is what here? SSD is still present. Let's remove power and do some resistance checks. I want to know what, what is going on with the main power rail. I have the feeling it is not present. So again, so this is battery. Battery coil has high kilo ohms. So when we have a few MOSFETs here, 1.5 mega ohms.
and ground. 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 Okay, we have ground at all of these three MOSFETs here. We have three MOSFETs here. Here. This is a battery coil and here we have one, two, three small MOSFETs. Two are for charging. High side MOSFET and low side MOSFET. One is battery fed, battery to system fed. Um, and um, for this reason, we, sh we should only have one MOSFET which is connected to ground from one side. But all three MOSFETs are connected to ground with one side. So I really have to guess or to assume we have a shorted main power rail. Pretty much, pretty much. So um, yeah, I think we have to disable the machine to see uh, how the DC in circuit looks like to get some clue. Okay. And so and now we have the small, small and nice board. So here's the DC inject. Ah, here we have the MOSFETs. Here. Once again, resistance to ground. So. ground and it is not shorted interesting it is shorted it is shorted main power rail is shorted i just had a bad ground connection again it is shorted 1.8 ohms probes 0.5, so we have a 1.3 ohms short to ground of the main power rail, which is um, a good thing because the easiest folds are short at main power rail, you, at least usually. Mm. But um, so the next step would be to inject voltage. Um, we don't exceed one volt. Maybe we just do check the health of the coils just for sanity. And then we also have to remove all this, this tape and foil and uh, everything. So we can uh, touch and feel the whole board for uh, anything warming up. Because this is the only change chains we have to find the short. Interesting. Such a new device with a shorted main power rail.
here is almost nothing. Leave it like that for the moment. But the back side has probably to be removed. interesting okay so here we probably have the random access memory yeah memory chips load switch nothing more Okay, so let's check the coils. We have a few. This mode is already set. So a good ground point. Maybe this one here. So starting at the battery. High kilo ohms. Same here. Same here, same here, 85 ohms probably for the PCH inside of the CPU package, 15 ohms is probably VCC SA, the system agent, 3.8 probably core supply, same here, 3.8, then we have VCC GFX, and I still don't have a good ground connection, now you can't see anything, five point one, okay? Same here probably. No. Ah, this is for the memory, for the random access memory. 260, which is completely healthy. So all coils looking fine. We only have an issue at the main power rail. So I have to assume we have a shorted capacitor somewhere. Interesting. Once again, yeah, short to ground. Okay, so switch to the microscope. Oh no, now it's working. Okay, so I set my bench top to zoom. To one mold to stay safe and also one amp and now we inject into the main power rail so one amp Maybe we can look here. This is a plus. This is probably ground and this is a plus. Okay. Here we have a 
zero point two seven volt, twenty seven millivolt, and here we have only twenty one millivolt. This should be the plus one. Okay, let's check. Still nothing to fear. We raise two, two amps. Three amps. Point nine two Yeah. Something should warm up now. Here, I feel something here in this area. Okay, which side? I have the feeling something burns my finger here. Yeah? Look, the, look at this cap. Does this look, does this cap look healthy anymore? The lower one seems there is even no point <laughs> to check anymore. But uh, just to have fun, some fun. Here. Just when we have some fun, I will so three is plus. Which one is it? Once again, it is clearly the lower one here. Yeah? Alright? Okay, let's remove this cap and then we should be already fine.
doesn't want to move. No. Okay. So the bad cap is gone. Now we check again with multimeter. Let's check at the current sense resistor again. And we have mega ohms again. We have mega ohms. Wonderful. So it is fixed. Let's uh, put the board back. Yes, this is the easiest case, a shorted main power rail. Unfortunately, that's a rare case with uh, recent devices. Usually it's a bad PCH or a bad CPU or something else weird going on. Really rare, but uh, it is something with the main power rail itself. I think you know my videos or at least a few of them. So yeah, I'm of course happy about that. Not much time spent. Just in case you uh, you are asking yourself um, because of the missing cap, yeah, I will take a look later for a good replacement. But uh, for the moment, it is absolutely fine to test it without this cap present because um, yeah, um, this is uh, it isn't um, important enough. So uh, it can something bad going on. So. Um, yeah, we just leave it uh, out for the moment and uh, we'll replace it like later, okay? Charger, and we have a light here. Can you see it? We have a light at the power button, and now I press the power button. And 
we have picture. Yeah, wonderful. That's it. Short solved. We we'll Well, this line also acknowledged. So, um, yeah. I'll replace the cap and um, replace the uh, terminal paste, and uh, then we're done. As always, thank you for watching. Please uh, like, subscribe, and uh, comment if you want. And um, yeah, I'm happy to see you the next time. Bye.